Do you love robots? Do you build robots? Do you teach robots? I do. Here's some of my mini robots. My wife says I have a problem. My name is Brian Wagner, and I've been teaching middle school robots for the past six years. Mostly I teach the Lego NXT robots. That's right, I get paid to play with Legos. Lego robots are great and all, but they have one fundamental problem. They are way too expensive. At the end of my robot class each year, I have to tell my students, it's time to take your Lego robot creation apart. Put it up for next year. It's a very sad time. I see a lot of tears. So what is a robotics teacher supposed to do? Well, let me introduce you to my latest creation, the MyBot. This revolutionary robot has been evolving in my classroom and in my brain for the past three years. In this class, I am solidifying these ideas and creating an actual product that can be used in a robotics classroom. I wanted to have a robot that's inexpensive enough that each kid would be able to take it home with them at the end of the school year. In addition, I did not want to have this robot be a kit or have instructions showing exactly how to build the robot. MyBot solves these problems in a very clever way. First, the brains that controls the robot is built by the students. I designed this circuit board and had it manufactured in China, and the students will then solder components onto the circuit board and build the actual brain. This reduces the cost quite a bit. All the components on here cost about 15 bucks. Second, the robot uses inexpensive continuous rotation servos, also from China, and ultrasonic sensors, and line sensors that I can get inexpensively. All in all, the sensors and the motors cost maybe another 10 bucks. Finally, the robot is powered by four AA batteries. All of it together costs maybe 30 bucks. You know, compare that to the $300 Lego kits. The actual microprocessor for the MyBot is the Adafruit Pro Trinket. The Pro Trinket is a small circuit board that contains an easily programmable microprocessor based upon the Arduino family. It plugs into a socket that is on the custom circuit board. I have written software that makes it easy to get started. But perhaps the most awesome part of the MyBot is the robot chassis or body. I designed the electronics so they could be mounted on just about anything. Cardboard, wood, plastic, or even, in this case, an old CD. I really like the fact that you can use recycled materials for this purpose. Here's an example robot I built last week. If you look, the servo motors are just hot glued to the bottom of this CD. The uh, electronics board is just taped onto the top and the battery pack, and I added this funky little head. Wheels for the robot can be made out of anything. Jar lids, toy wheels, anything that can roll. The wheels are simply glued or screwed onto the servo arms. And let's see. A caster is used such that the robot doesn't fall over. This caster could be made out of a ping pong ball or a marble or wood or any number of things. Finally, these sensors would need to be hot glued or mounted somehow onto the robot board. The key here though is the kids actually get to design, well, where do I put these things? How does this hook on? How does it work? So my question's for you. If you had a MyBot brain circuit board, what would you use to create the body? What features would you like your robot to have? And if you were teaching a robot class, what would be your biggest concerns about using the MyBot? Thank you for watching my trailer describing the MyBot. This will be my first step in creating a robotic army to take over the world. Remember everybody, resistance is futile.